Ah, ah, ah. Check one, check one. <laughs> check one, check two. I smoked two blunts before we started this in, uh, this uh, episode. Bada beam, bada boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Q&A. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. I hope everybody had a badass Christmas. Hey, I didn't. I know a lot of people dealing with COVID, so I didn't get to really spend time with my family. Tell me how your Christmas was, man. Drop the comments in below. You know I'm always interested to hear it, and you know I'm definitely interested for the motherfucking cheese, man. So today's episode we got today is the motherfucking Q and A. <coughs> I know I said I was gonna. I don't have COVID. Shut the fuck up. With that being said, let's get into the first question. Sister. First question: What does it mean when someone leaves a dead cat on your porch? What does it mean when somebody leaves a dead cat on your porch? Now, um, let me say this. It can mean multiple things. Now, if you got a dead cat, dead, even a dead animal on your porch, especially a bird, really birds and frogs, just to clear the air. If y'all have, if y'all ever see a frog that's dead, that's bad. You're gonna D.I.E. Because if I say it, YouTube gonna ban me because they've been acting like some bitches. They owe me some money. Don't think I ain't forget. TikTok owe me some money too, but that's another story. We leave it for another time, okay? Anyways, back to the conversation. Yes, if you see a dead cat on your fucking porch or on your property, my advice to you is to put holy water on it. Grab it with a bag, right? Take it and throw it somewhere far away from your house. Now, to clean it, my best advice would be to get black salt and throw it where they threw it at. And you're going to have to reach out to somebody like me or somebody to clean your house. Um, but if you can't reach out to nobody, like I said, just put the black uh, black salt and the holy water all over it. But yes, be aware, especially for frogs, because frogs is not a good sign, especially birds. All right. Okay. Hey, Noe, when you said put holy water in your feet, do you mean on your actual feet or do you mean on top of your shoes? Is that fine? Is that a rhetorical question? I'm not gonna say that's a dumb question. That's a retarded question. Nah, I'm just playing. No, always holy water on your feet, and it just dep it just depends on the altercation of where you're going. And of course, if you're going to somebody's house you don't know, my best advice is to spray it under your shoe. Okay, uh, if you're going to somebody's house who so you know that's not good for you, then spray for your shoe and spray it on your back and spray it on your head. That way, you know, they can't pick your hair or, you know, whatever it is that they throw on your back or whatever it is that you step on, it won't land on you. But it's always, always, always best to put holy water on yourself at all times. And, of course, drink a little bit, too, before you go out to eat because you never know. Well, fucking fat school bus is out to get you and they want to get your ass, man. I'm telling you, man. It's shit crazy. Next question, me amigo. Yo, I want to say something about Duendes. I'm always placing shit places and then it shows up somewhere else. How do I keep them away from me or how do I protect myself? What you got to do is you got to leave a cup of alcohol by the door. Wait for one to come out and fuck it. Nah, I'm just, <laughs> no, hear me out. Hear me out. No, it's a joke. I'm joking. Where am I? Ah. If you watch my first season, I said it because I, I, you know, I did that season when I was still doing the cleanings and all that. But if I'm not mistaken, it's... <laughs> Ammonia, it's holy water, ammonia, holy water, and sandalo, sandalwood, right? Sandalo. You put it in a, you put it in a bucket. You mop the whole house with it, right? And it'll take, it'll take the dwindles out, okay? And hopefully it works out for you. Send me photos. Send me anything. If you have any proof, just send it to me, and I'll post it on my YouTube page, or I will reach out to you. No problem. Go ahead and hit me up on Instagram, my man. Next question, me amigo. All right. How can I get in contact with the lady who? Has a shrunken heads. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, say that again, Ryan. Say that again. Say that again. I know I did not just hear that shit. Say that shit again. How can I get in contact with a lady who has the shrunken heads? Why the fuck you want the shrunken head lady for? For what? What you what you what you got in mind? I don't know, man. That's that ain't no motherfucking nah. Why? Why? For what? For what? Cause we all know that lady does black. She fought with the devil. Why you want to fall? Mm. 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 How do you feel about Santa Muerte? Or what do you know about Santa Muerte? Man, look. Fuck that hoe. And I'm going to say it regardless. I'm going to fuck. Now, look. Everybody going to say, watch your mouth. I know if y'all watched my last live last time, I was on live. And this one girl, she uh, she did. <laughs> she, uh, I don't know. She never sent it to me. 
The girl who said who recorded my uh, Instagram, you never sent the video to me. You suck. But anyways, I'm going to stand on it. And the reason why I say that is because your own saint could go against you. Hear me out. I'm going to say that again. Your own saint can go against you. Okay? I'm going to give you an example. If I got a full altar of Santa Muerte in my house, Somebody goes to see another lady who fucks with Santa Muerte, right? And they be like, hey, I want to hurt this person. All they got to do is just offer the Santa Muerte more money or more alcohol, whatever the fuck it is that they promise her, and your own saint going to go against you. So what's the purpose of this whole altar? Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, be smart. A lot of people who usually go to her anywhere are the ones who, like, you know, want to break up a fucking family or want to break up a fucking marriage because you lonely ass can't get nobody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's really what that, it's really what she used for. I've never heard of, you know what I'm saying, a situation that, you know, it was used for good. But I could be wrong. And a lot of people are going to say, she helped me out of misery. Well, that's good, too. God does, too. Next question. Mm -hmm. What happened to your TikTok? What <coughs> the fuck happened to your TikTok? Fuck TikTok. And I want y'all to know that. Fuck TikTok. I'm going to say that shit with a passion. But follow my new TikTok at Noe9155. But as far as I'm concerned, fuck TikTok. And when I'm up, I'm going to sue the fuck out them little motherfuckers, dog. I swear to God, bro. You got some bullshit, bro. They owe me some bread. They owe me some bread. But follow my new one. I haven't been posting on there because everything I post seems to get flagged. A boy can't even say motherfucking bitch. But a bitch could go on motherfucking TikTok, show their pussy, show their titties, and, and, and. Oh, since I want to talk about some real shit, they want to shadow ban me. And you know what I noticed too? I ain't getting the views like I used to get because they, they, they shadow ban my ass. It's cool, TikTok. I'm going to come. Next question. What do the cape signify on eggs? It's rare. If you can pull out a cape, then you have a little witch in you. Food for thought. But capes signify blindness. You can't see. Um, you're very stupid, bendy how, like you're very dumb, like you don't know where you're at, always like this. If you find yourself drooling, cape. If you find yourself like here, but you're not here, cape. Uh, you find yourself doing shit that you're not supposed to be doing, but you're just like doing it and you don't know why you're doing it, cape. You know what I mean? It's stuff like that, you know, but it, it signifies Santa Muerte. They lit a candle on you. Um, they lit a candle on you and that's your cape to blind you. You know what I mean? So, and a cape is a person. So if you can get two capes, three capes, that's how many people is doing it to you. I've been wondering where we were. How do we get a hold of you and your brother? Good question. You can hit me up on my Instagram or leave a comment below with your number or cash at me at NoeCards915. Uh, send me a dollar with your number on it and I'll reach out to you and tell me what it is that you want. So for cards, cleaning, urgent, you know, just let me know. What do... Full resets really do for me. Oh, okay. Good question. Resets. Okay. So a lot of people do hit me up about resets, right? Y'all have ever heard of the fucking stone mold device? It's kind of like that. But a reset, what it does for you, it puts you where you need to be. So everything that's not meant for you, it clears out your life and puts your life on a path. Now, some people tell me when they get a reset, what the fuck? Oh, my. I just lost my boyfriend. They, your, your, your cleaning did not help me. No. My cleaning showed you that that person was not for you. It puts you in your path where you need to be. So you have to accept what comes with it. But it's really, really good for the soul because it don't waste no time. You don't waste no time, you know? What do we expect for 2022 this year? Woo, 2022! All right, so 2022, guys. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more on YouTube. This is probably going to be like my main platform. So you'll see a lot of videos. Now, I started a website. Now, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I started a website at noe915.com. Now, it's not done yet, but I will be posting my merch. I'll be posting, like, videos, and I have, like, a little fan club that I'm going to post, and people get to see the stuff before it actually drops, and more vivid stuff, because I know right now, you know, there's some stuff I can't post on YouTube because it might get banned. You know what I mean? So, but do not subscribe yet. I'll let y'all know when it's time, you know, because I still getting merch done. I still getting all that. But 2022 is going to be a big fucking year. Me and my little brother, we're going to we're gonna take it to the notch yeah we've been discussing it and um gonna do a lot this year. yeah it's gonna be a lot a lot this year um so hopefully you don't get sick of us you know because that's not the goal the goal is for you not to get sick of us you know but i honestly feel like i was the first guy to really bring out witchcraft right because when i dropped the dwindle series and i have the proof 
So many people came, bro. So many people came to the light because they were scared of looking crazy. And now that shit is all like all over TikTok of like, oh, I think they're doing witchcraft to me. But like, you know, they, nobody never said nothing. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Or nobody never really had the proof to be exact. You know, it is a risky business. Like, like again, you know, because, you know, you got them hating ass witches uh, who want to silence you. And we are at war with the witch right now as we speak, man. Like I said, I know it sounds crazy, but when y'all see that season, y'all going to trip the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? But again... We're working. That's not the problem. I'm not going to let y'all down. God first. God always. I would always be here no matter what. And I know a lot of people have been feeling down lately. Now, I want to say this. I know Venus is in retrograde right now. So when that happens, you know, your relationship might be a little rocky right now. Or you not might be infatuated, infatuated with your partner, you know, at the moment. Now, after January 26, if you still feel the way that you feel, not infatuated and all that, then it's your time for you, it's time for you to go because new blessings are going to open up for you your way. I know the water signs has been going through it. The air signs have been seeing like a, you know, a little change. And the fire signs been real angry lately, like real angry and real depressed. Um, hang in there, y'all. Hang in there. By the end of January, y'all going to see the shift. Now, I know a lot of people have been messaging me too, saying that they're depressed and they don't know how to get out of it. Stop being a pussy. JK, I didn't mean that. No, what I'm saying is, um, look, I know it's hitting hard right now, guys. Mental health is real big right now. But I don't know if y'all notice, y'all feeling that way because y'all putting other people before y'all or y'all not putting yourselves first when it comes to you. Now, let's not forget that, okay? You have to put yourself first in order to be where y'all want to be. You have to dissect your problem and get to the bottom of it. Now, instead of asking yourself, I'm so sad, I'm so this and that, why are you sad? Ask yourself why. I don't know why. You do know why. Because you wouldn't have a feeling if you did not know what was bothering you. You know why. Figure it out. Dissect it. And unfold it. And work for it. For yourself. You can't fix nobody else if you can't fix yourself. You know? That's just what it is. You know? I love you all. Stay safe. And don't forget... I love you all. Y'all my fans. I love you. I love you. I love you. Me and my little brother, we love you. We're greatly appreciated that you watch us. It's like I said, when I'm talking, I'm not just talking to a camera. I'm talking to y'all. I connect with y'all. I love you all. You know what I mean? But with that being said, I'll see y'all in the beginning of the new year for a new season. I can't wait to see y'all.